I can't believe what I'm seeing. Since Landon's dead, I'm guessing that you're a golem made from my late boyfriend's remains. Illusion ring, actually. I am not the real thing. But this letter is... He left it behind for you, Hope. Dear Hope, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which admittedly sucks, but it's not all bad. Because that probably means you beat Malivore. Which probably means you had to become the Tribrid. And I know you never wanted that, but it does mean you get to do what most of us only ever dream of. You get to live forever. Everything we talked about, backpacking through Europe, hiking up the Pacific coast, you now have all the time in the world to do those things. I know you feel like you're alone, but you're not. I mean, you have friends that love you, people that will never give up on you no matter what. Don't pull away. My wish is for you to have a long, happy life, Hope. Do all the things I'll never get to. And wherever you go, remember that I'll always love you. Forever. I'm feeling something. Boredom. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Um, it's Cleo, right? Fake landings are kind of her thing. I should thank you. You pushed me to make the transition. But that also means that Landon's death is your fault. If not for all your secrets, this could have all been avoided. Why don't we just skip to the end? Uh, Ethan, I'm gonna guess you were gonna use some hokey sports metaphor. Your jocks like you tend to find their identity in teams because you're completely unremarkable by yourself. So, pass. You a finch. Since Josie won't come out to play. She was on her way. Too bad. Time's up. You can take her place. Josie taught you not to be a lone wolf, which is really just a cover for your codependency. And as for you, MG, if Salvatore Idol were to be televised, you'd be canceled before the title card. So if this was your big idea, I give it zero stars. See? Game over. Now where are my weapons?